And good morning to everyone joining us on Zoom and Facebook Live, and where we believe God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. There is one body and one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thanks to God.
Thanks, Thanks be God. of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. He said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciple, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard is it to enter the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, And who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news, who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age, houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children, and fields with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. 
But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Steve, can you lower my mic just a little bit? So I'm going to share that I think and I hope that you'll consider this too, that by the end of my sermon, that this is an exceptionally good text for stewardship and baptism. And I'll start with that I I don't think it's a stretch to describe the rich man as searching and struggling. So when the man hears that Jesus is in the neighborhood, he runs up to Jesus and then humbly kneels before him like someone genuinely seeking and earnestly asks, What must I do to inherit eternal life? It's a profound question. He's asking about how to have a life that is fulfilling and satisfying in this lifetime and in a way that has significance for the future. And he wants to know what he can do in order to get that kind of life. And so Jesus replies, you know the commandments, and he begins to list off the commandments about one's relationship to others. Do not murder, commit adultery, bear false witness, defraud. And the man replies, I've done all of this since I was a kid. And then then that's when Jesus looks upon him with love and says, you lack one thing. Go, sell what you own, and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. And I think the rich man must have furrowed his brow and had a, what, wait moment? And when he realizes that this is really Jesus' answer to his question, he gets up and he walks away shocked and grieving, for he had many possessions. The way to finding the kind of life the man seeks, Jesus tells us, is we got to let go of a lot of stuff. And this is where Jesus looks around and he says to his disciples, how hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples are genuinely perplexed at these words. Jesus' teaching is shocking to them, and they say, if not them, then who? And they reveal their deeply held assumption that a wealthy person is a blessed person, and blessed in the sense of if you do things just right, then, then God will match it with blessings. But this is not God's way, and this is not Jesus' way. Our relationship with God and with Jesus is not one based in reciprocity. And remember, Jesus, he looked at that man with love. Jesus loved this man and his searching and struggling profound kind of question.
Jesus isn't putting down the rich, isn't demeaning them or pushing them away. Jesus isn't saying that the man enter a life of poverty for himself. And Jesus isn't glamorizing or encouraging poverty, but is instead advocating that the man give of his abundance. Give from one's abundance. And so this is the stewardship part. Jesus is advocating that we give of our abundance from a place of gratitude and sharing. It's about reaching out to build relationships from a perspective of abundance instead of scarcity. Jesus is inviting us to reflect upon the question this way. How do we become rich in the things that matter? What is it that we need to let go of? And this got me thinking about a podcast I listened to recently with Father Greg Boyle. And he's the founder and executive director of Homeboy Industries. And he's an acknowledged expert in gangs and intervention and reentry into community. And Father Boyle, he shares that the lessons he learns from who he calls his homies are contagious. Every day they teach him about what it means to heal, to belong, to belong to one another, to practice compassion, to relearn how to trust God and how to trust others. And Father Boyle, he has a way of speaking and telling stories and loving people that is also contagious. He has this way about him that makes people who listen to him believe that we can be a better kin to others. That we can practice compassion and forgiveness and that kind of no matter whatness that he describes as learning to see people's inherent goodness, including our own. And so I'd like to share a couple of Father Boyle's stories that I think gets us closer to what Jesus is trying to tell the rich man and his disciples. And so he goes, I had a board member, great guy, but who always said, you know, you see a gang member and all you see is potential. But then I thought, no, that's imprecise. I see goodness. That's what I want to see and hope to see and intend to see. Because potential is kind of like, you only have so much and maybe someone else has more or worse yet, we can't really see potential in someone. But goodness, goodness is kind of the pervasive, unshakable thing that everybody has. And then that's all you need to see. And that's all you need to reflect back. And that's all anybody needs to put one foot in front of the next is to say, I'm unshakably good. And resilience is born of that. And a kind of hope is born of that. And there's a, another story where Father Boyle shares the problem in the world is that we've just forgotten. We've forgotten that we belong to each other. So how do we stand against forgetting that? How do we create and imagine a circle of compassion? And then no, imagine nobody standing outside that circle. And to that end, what we hope to do, all of us, I think, is to inch our way out, out 
to the margins so that we can stand with the powerless and the voiceless, that we can stand with those whose dignity has been denied and with those whose burdens are more than they can bear. And so with these two stories in our heart, I want to segue to talking about baptism. Because seeing goodness and creating circles of compassion, that's living into baptism. Because baptism is about a way of living. It's about love and compassion and belonging. It's about renouncing and claiming boldly what we believe. It's where we are reminded that we are always looked upon by God with love and goodness. Baptism is the sacrament where God marks us as one of God's beloved children. It is an indissolvable bond between God and us. And in a wee bit, Harley, we'll enter into our rich tradition of asking questions. He'll learn how to build a relationship with Jesus. And everyone gathered here today will be joining together in promises of sustaining Harley's life in spirit so that he knows he is always loved and he will always be supported his entire life. Harley will walk his life in faith, surrounded by his family and his godparents. He will see by their example what it means to live a life of faith. Harley will grow up seeing how important having a relationship with Jesus is. He will grow up seeing how important a community of faith is. And he will grow up seeing how important it is to help other people. He'll grow up experiencing being loved by a church full of kin. He will grow up knowing that he is woven into the tapestry of life of this faith community. And I say this at every single baptism because it's true. We promise to watch each child grow immature. We promise to support each child's spiritual growth. We promise to support each child on their journeys for their entire lives. We have promised to help each child live into the gifts God has given them. We promise to be with each child at the beginning of their life until the very end of their lives. And I'd like to end with a prayer I read recently and it goes like this. God, this is a hard one. How do we begin to love or even connect with someone so different from us? How do we bridge this gap? Help us remember, blessed are we who want to be a part of the wild and beautiful experiment to find common humanity who desire to come willingly into the gaps that separate human from human, to love the stranger, especially the one we really don't understand and secretly want to set straight. Blessed are we willing to stay in the gap, in the contradictions of what we can't understand, to actively work on disproving our own intuitions about another, to begin to see what they see. Blessed are we swimming upstream against the current of our own human frailty, our fears and emotions, and willing to be wrong for a second to reconsider and hold on to our integrity with kindness. And to discover that humility is what makes change possible. Grace is never neutral. It works backwards and forward in time, conspiring to make wrong right. And Jesus tells us, for God 
All things are possible. Amen. Amen. I would ask that the parents and godparents and Harley, if you will please stand and you'll need your bulletins. So I'm going to say the sentence and when I end with gusto is yours. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. And dear congregation, Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support Harley and his life in Christ? We will. Let us join with him who is committing himself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Let us now pray for Harley, who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Lord, Harley, oh Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Open his heart to your grace and truth. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Fill Harley with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Keep him in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Teach Harley to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Send him into the world and witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring Harley to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. So at this time, I invite... Harley and his parents and godparents and his family to uh, come up to the baptismal font. And if our, I think our littles are still in Sunday school. So, so if mom and dad will be on this side, godparents on this side. All right.
So, Billy, if you'll light the candle, and then, oop, yep, so you'll light the candle right off of the Christ candle, and then if you'll pour water into this basin, I know it's kind of heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and family, yes, you are welcome to take pictures or videos. Very good. That's perfect. Thank you. And then, uh, okay. We're not at the water part yet, but uh, Dad, if you'll hold that mm -hmm. for when I need it. Okay. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Time to, if you'll turn him so his head is this way. All right, Harley, you ready? <laughs> okay. I baptize you, Harley, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, Heavenly Father. We thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon him, your servant, the forgiveness of sin, and have raised him to the new life of grace. Sustain him, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit, Give him an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. So I'm going to do the chrism oil. Okay, you ready, Harley? I'm going to do the sign of the cross on your forehead. Ooh. Harley, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Okay, everyone, let us welcome the newly baptized. He received you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim his resurrection, and share with us his eternal priesthood. All right, great job, Harley. And if it's okay, if I can hold Harley and we'll do our walk. He likes to look at it. All right, that's perfect. We ready? Wait. Wait, there we go. Got to get you secure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo! Yeah. Yep. You follow. Hey, Everybody's gonna say hi. Say hey, hi, Harley. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Isn't this fun? Hi. Oh, his family. Hi. 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 So we're going to go around. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, 
So we can't leave the other side out, so we're gonna do another, another little round. <laughs> You're doing awesome, Harley. Hi, 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 everybody. Hi. Awesome, buddy. Awesome, awesome. And we'll say hi to everybody on this side. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's Giovanni. Say hi to Harley. Hi. Oh, great job, bud. And here you go, back to mommy. Good <laughs> The peace of the Lord be always with you.
the second chalice. my hands. Very good. Thank you. be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who on the first day of the week overcame death and the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation and the calling of Israel to be your people and your words spoken through the prophets and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary to be the savior and redeemer of the world. 
And him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. And him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin and to righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all of your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. All are welcome and everyone is worthy to receive communion.
join me in saying the post-communion prayer? Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Did Patty head out? She has coffee hour, so. All right, when you see, oh, there you are. I was like, because I was going to, okay. I was going to have them all tell you happy birthday every time. All right, you want to share your digits? 63, woohoo. Any special wishes? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for her 63rd birthday. Give her 163 more. She has asked for world peace, inner peace, lots of peace. Yes. And, <laughs> and prayers for Paige, who is having rotator, rotator cuff surgery. Please let her heal fully and be with her care team as she recovers and let her do all of her PT like a bionic woman. Thank you for the gift of birthdays and may this year be filled with the remaining races. Let them all be winning and next season be winning, winning, winning. And that there's always joy and concerts and races in her life and family and friends. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Okay. Do we have other birthdays? Yes. Regan, how many digits? 61. Woohoo. And birthday wishes for you? He's okay. 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 And your daughter's name. Dear Lord, thank you for her 61st birthday and give her 161 more. Thank you for her daughter, Ruby, who is going down to Florida. Oh, is in Florida. And uh, please keep her safe. Please uh, help her community. And as they restore their communities and their homes, please keep them safe from any other hurricanes. Let them remember how resilient they all are and to hold on to hope and that there is help for all of them and bring blessings to Regan on her birthday. Surround her with family and friends and love and that she has some good and fun adventures this year. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Happy birthday. I know it's always your birthday. <laughs> Do we have other birthdays? Anniversaries? Bless, oh, anniversaries, okay. Yes. Dear Lord, thank you for Allison's parents and their 49 years together. Give them a gazillion more anniversaries. Let their day be surrounded by their family and their friends, offering them toasts and sharing good and happy and fun memories. Give them good health and give them a year full of blessings and love and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy anniversary to your parents. Do we have, a, yes. I'll come over to you. Oh, is it your anniversary? It's Sunday, but we're not here because of technically it was the Comic Con. So. Oh, you just sorry. Are you are you the excuse for the Comic Con? Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> How many years together? Seventeen. Seven. Seventeen. Dear Lord, thank you for their seventeen years together. Let them have a ton of fun 
next weekend. Give them 117 more years together. Give them each good health. Give them the ability to be in three places at once. Keep them in good health. Thank you for the love they share with their family and let them be blessed by their family and friends always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Happy anniversary. Do we have other anniversaries? Blessings? Blessing? Okay. So I don't know that I have rights to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are aware, but today is the 10th anniversary of the ordination of Mother Jimmy Sue to the priesthood. <laughs> Lord, we thank you for the gift of Mother Jimmy Sue and her family. We thank you for her commitment to St. Jude. We thank you for her commitment to you and your teachings. We pray that she has another 110 years. <laughs> <laughs> or until she's you know, ready to be done, whichever may come first, uh, of her service, um, of her love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Hey, uh, attitude of gratitude for the last few weeks that God has just increased blessings and unexpected blessings upon me and my family. And we are so grateful. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I will just add, thank you, Lord, for blessings and for goodness and kindness and hearing our prayers. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, we can plant again. <laughs> uh, other blessings? Okay. And I'm going to go into announcements. Um, I want to say thank you to the Spruce Up team and to uh, the Civil Air Patrol cadets who came out yesterday. You may notice how pretty the entryway is, and you're like, I thought our trees had lots of leaves. Those were actually blind uh, vines that were making the trees go, I can't grow. So. <laughs> Now they can flourish and they can grow, and uh, it's a lot of hard work, and I'm so deeply appreciative of their efforts to make our space beautiful. So thank you. <laughs> oh, I missed an anniversary. Hang on, Connor and Katrina. Your parents have an anniversary, right? Mind? Yeah, okay. How, do you know how long they've been together? No? Okay. Well, we wish your parents the best anniversary and a ton of years together. And let it be filled, let their year and y'all's year be filled with good adventures and a lot of love and great health. Amen. <laughs> Okay, announcements again. Um, at 1 p.m., the LGBTQAI group is having a movie with discussion. Everyone is welcome. And Trunk or Tree is October 27th in the parking lot at 4 p.m. Uh, come in your costumes if you're little or big. Uh, you can, uh, if you're like, that's uh, maybe no, bring your car, decorate your trunk. And because uh, it's a lot of fun to be, for the kids to go to each trunk and see it decorated, and then they'll vote on best trunk, and uh, they get candy and treats, and then we have activities. So it's a lot of fun, so please do come. And um, you may have seen in the Sunday School hallway a table with envelopes. Those are not your raffle tickets. Uh, those uh, got uh, mailed out if you weren't able to get them last Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, I ask that you kindly pick up your pledge uh, packet. And if you'll 
prayerfully consider um, your offering because it is your offerings that enable us to uh, have all the wonderful things we have as a church and to be able to do good work out in the world. So um, please prayerfully consider your offering. And John, do you want to talk or you want, I can, so raffle tickets, if you would like more raffle tickets, I have plenty. I can give you more. <laughs> um, and gift baskets, we're looking for any help with the gift baskets. And Diane would love help with upcycle. And we would love help the day of. Um, it's a lot of fun. Please do come out November 2nd, uh, 9 to there are more posters in the back. Yep, the more we can share, it's our largest fundraiser of the year. It's an extremely important fundraiser. So thank you, everyone. Um, with that, if you all rise. Oh, so. All Saints and All Souls Day, remember your loved ones. Make sure you print them out, or you can type them on the computer, whatever you want to do. This is going to be the day after the church fair, so then Sunday, November 3rd, 2024, it has to be in by Monday, October 28th, which is St. Jude and St. Simon Day, so it has to be in by Monday, October 28th. Oh, thank Not you. Monday, you won't have it on <laughs> thank you, Bryce. <laughs> um, okay, so with that, if you'll rise for the blessing. God's blessing be with you. Christ's peace be with you. The Spirit's outpouring be with you now and always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And let there be banana bread. <laughs>
Composure is harder. So it's either a death march or a funeral march. Yeah, I've got to cut it off the same thing. It's the same thing. But who knows? 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 Who knows?